chow bye hello out there in uh youtube land greetings and salutations to everyone else in the social media universe this be your girl miss jenkins what's up i'm coming to y'all today with a review for married to medicine honey she ain't got no knives on her she ain't got no guns on her today she doesn't have any of that for you guys today you know because we own married to medicine so we gonna keep it cute and you know maybe smoke some weed speaking of which i got some right here Now, for those of you bitches that think gospel music could go too far, you think we got it too radical with our message, honey. Don't be talking about, oh, you talking about class and married to medicine, but you're smoking weed. Girl, it's called married to medicine, okay? This is a pharmaceutical drug. Goodbye. Anyway, enough with the jokes, y'all. Let's get into it, because I don't want to spend too much time on it. All right, so everybody knows what happened. <coughs> Excuse me. Everybody knows what took place last week. Because <coughs> otherwise, why are you here? <coughs> Excuse me. Excuse me. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> Excuse me. Let me put this out or I ain't never going to be able to get through this shit. Okay. <coughs> we all know what took place last week. We know it was some bullshit. We know Quad ain't willing to accept responsibility for shit. She want to act like she saw what she saw and she said what she said and that's how we keeping it. I feel like Quad is bitter as fuck, but that's just my, that's just me, bitch. Move it little low. Move it little low. Um, we set the scene, you know, the guys is partaking in the daily fucking routines while their wives is out working. They second jobs for most of them and you know it is what it is on that we go to the girls what they doing nothing they ain't doing shit getting ready getting ready for the what they finna do a little later on but anyway child so uh we get up with uh toya and mariah mariah sitting outside looking like she reflecting on all the bad decisions she ever made in her life and fucking uh you know toya come out talking about hey girl i hope i didn't wake you up with my snoring Mariah was like, no, girl, you do snore, but you know, that ain't it. You know, I'm feeling blessed and highly favored this morning. You know, uh, 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 Mariah done got her refresh, and she's fine. And I think the one thing that help a bitch sleep <clears throat> good at night is knowing you got receipts for all this bullshit these bitches is bringing your way. Funny how Mariah is the one going through this shit, but it seemed like Quad is the one that is most pressed. But I'm going to get to that shit a little later. We got time. <sighs> anyway, girl. So, fucking, uh, you know, uh, Mariah Toya say, you know, I don't want to be dealing with no drama today. I, I'm over it. Uh -uh. Um, Mariah say, girl, usually I be done uh, turn my back on these bitches, pico de gallo, them chopped up, served on the side, and told them bitches where to go. But you know what? I ain't even into all of that. Whatever. Toya said, girl, you just need to go on and bust out them receipts. Mariah said, oh, I got the receipts. Adam sent them to me last night. So that's why I woke up feeling blessed and highly favored this morning. Ting, 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 bitch. But anyway, so with that being said, um, we venture over to uh, Scott and Contessa's uh, situation. I know y'all want to make them the star of this shit, you know, and I know that we put them center stage whenever they going through what they going through. And I know we all had a theory that uh, Scott and Contessa was going to be going through something marital and that that's why her ass was going to be center stage in all of the cast photos. Here's my thing, though. I'm not interested in y'all breaking up no motherfucking black happy homes, okay, bitch? At the end of the day, Andy Cohen is a Jewish motherfucking gay man, okay? He don't give, I don't know how much he give a fuck about a union. I don't know, bitch, but it's not looking good. I love Miss Mandy. Don't get it twisted. I can't wait to be on a Bravo TV network my damn self. But at the end of the day, I'm just trying to open up y'all minds. Like, I'm not interested in seeing black couples uh, deteriorate. And I don't feel like that need to be the basis for, for how you get up in this show. Bitch, I digress. Priorities. Let's move on. So, girl, I'm going to fast forward because I don't feel like dealing with none of the uh, extra bullshit. We go to the motherfucking, uh, we putting our masks on. Oh, I got to talk about Scott. I'm sorry. Scott over at Cecil's house at the motherfucking boom, boom room. 
because he just need a drink and some food and just some some male bonding and somebody to talk to about this shit and um jackie and Cecil pretty much say the same thing y'all need counseling if they would have played them screen by screen it would have been both of them saying that they both need motherfucking counseling so with that being said you do need counseling contessa you over here resentful you think that you resentful because of the the uh the that the fact that you had to give up on your dream real quick but that's not why you resentful boo that's not even what resentment means like I, like for me i just i'm just saying i'm just saying honey it you you resent you being resentful towards your family towards your husband because of a decision that you decided to make that didn't work out but at the end of the day if you do it for your family then it shouldn't be no crying no tears you're sitting over here worried about what jackie got negating the entire fact that jackie ain't never even been a motherfucking mother before okay so let's pay attention to our blessings let's count our blessings and not our woes get that resentment shit out of your head because like jackie said you're gonna have a dry ass lawn if you don't water that motherfucker it ain't gonna flourish it's gonna dry up and in the summertime that bitch gonna burn into flames bitch and you're gonna be standing outside wondering what the fuck happened no ma'am scott um the only thing that i could say to you is stop being fucking selfish like let you could have let your wife do that year that year and a half two years however long it would have like fucking take it wasn't like you wasn't gonna see your motherfucking wife again it wasn't like y'all couldn't have made it work your motherfucking ass just wanted to be able to do whatever the fuck it was that you wanted to do when you wanted to motherfucking do it like you feel a husband is entitled to okay girl i might need me a knife i might need me a weapon no I brought the weed. I come in peace. Married to medicine. Whew. So all I'm saying, Scott, is it's a big ass no for me on that. Let's move the fuck on before I go the fuck off. Um, <clears throat> Y'all both do better. Y'all both do better. Give and take. Period, poo. Um, uh, 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 oh, and may I suggest this, uh, Scott and Contessa? Uh, maybe, just maybe... It might be time to go on ahead and hire that uh, nanny that was cussing y'all the fuck out left and right back and forth. Might be time to hire her ass back. She don't like you, but she seemed to do well with Scott. And it ain't like he gonna, you know, cheat on you with her. So I'm just saying. And she could be your eyes and ears, girl. I think you need to go on ahead and hire Miss Rude Ass <laughs> Nanny back, honey. <coughs> Get her some, uh, anyway, moving on. <coughs> so anyway. Girl, now we putting on our mask, honey. I'm over here in Toya and Mariah's room where the fun bitches is at. So I'm putting on my mask, honey, because, you know, <coughs> we're about to go and do what we do best, honey, which is be some fake ass hoes, bitch. So anyway, <coughs> I lived for that moment with Mariah and uh, Toya. And I am team Toya and Mariah. It's so fun over there. The rest of y'all bitches is so boring and miserable and shit. Girl, bye. Just so mad. Don't even know what y'all mad at. That's why y'all always start shit with the pretty bitches. Let's move on because this is not basketball wives. Anyway, bitch, I didn't know this was going to turn to a rant, rant, rantiana, rantiana, rant. But girl, anyway, rantiana, she's coming up out of me. She, I am invoking spirits at this point, bitch, because this bitch is irritate. So anyway, we get on our mask. We get on the bus. We go to motherfucking. Let me lower my voice. Sorry, y'all. Y'all can turn y'all volume down. Whew. Go ahead, Raniana. Go on, Raniana. So we go back into our... We get we get on the bus, girl. Everybody got their masks on. Looking cute, whatever. We get to the place. We sit down. When these bitches get out the bus, they was so extra. That Somebody got out the bus like, Oh, Jack, Jackie, you went all out. Oh, is this a barn? Yeah, like, girl, it was just so shady and so funny. But the barn was nice it was you can tell it was set up for the purpose of people coming in and uh dining in it like it's some sort of hall like a dance hall or something you throw a wedding you know something like that so jackie's party in my opinion was the masquerade barnyard boogie oogie oogie okay so we at the masquerade barnyard boogie oogie oogie we live in our best lives jackie always got something up her motherfucking sleeve so what she do how well you know we wear many masks and so you know today i just want to take the masks off and we just be ourselves bitch mariah said well y'all want to take off your lashes and weaves too shout out to quad because she don't wear weaves she wear wigs like a motherfucker but we made sure to, you know, you know, sever you from that 
from that. Because Lord forbid you think that Mariah's trying to shade your ass for saying wigs and not weaves. Uh, anyway, girl, so they pan over and it's so exhausting. They pan over to Quad. Quad ain't got shit for Mariah. While Mariah's saying all the funny, lighthearted shit, Quad looking down like, <clears throat> like a dead fish getting on my last nerve while everybody else is kiki and laughing it was a cute moment and y'all just made it whack contessa talking about no it's only for my man girl shut up yeah quiet and we know you don't want to take off none of your accessories honey because girl not that you're not a beautiful woman it's just that you can't do lupita like lupita girl you need quad this is quad stay in your lane but anyway bitch so we take off the mask. I don't know why we wear them. Just to take them off in five minutes. But it's cool because bitches got to eat. Don't be having time. To, Toya's got to hold her. She don't got time for that either. So, fine. We take off our masks. Heavily complaining because her big ass forehead done got bit up by a bug. I mean, it is what it is, Heavenly. But let's get to the shit. <clears throat> It was funny because she said, why you got us out here with bugs? She said, well, because some of you know, you guys act, sometimes you guys act like cattle. And I thought it was fun, light shade, whatever the case, whatever. So, <clears throat> here come the, here it come. Here come that god dog, Simone. This is why I don't fuck with Simone. When Simone get drunk, you can see it in her eyes. You can see it in her smile. And I am not fucking with it. I love it. Because it's not me. But I will be tired of every time Simone get drunk. She get that emotional, crazy, rage, weird situation. And I know you've been seeing the doctor about it. Because we can tell. You, you're you doing great, honey. You're doing great. But anyway. So she get down in her seat real low. Y'all know how Simone do, honey. She get down in her chest real low. And she say, Mariah and Quad. Y'all's motherfucking relationship is disgusting. She reflects on it and says... Y'all, every time y'all around each other, it's a dark fucking cloud. She can't with it. She can't. And I under motherfucking stand because don't nobody want to be dealing with that in the first place. And on top of that, quad, don't you think that you are no longer in a position to be acting the way that you are acting, my dear heart? Don't you think that you should slow your motherfucking roll down, bitch? Don't you think you need your motherfucking friend Mariah right now? Because Heavenly is not doing it. The fact that Heavenly and Jackie sat up there... Jackie and Heavenly had a conversation on Open It Honest and said what they said. They got in the van. <clears throat> Quad said all the shit that she said because Toya speaks for um, uh, Mariah and Heavenly speaks for Quad. So we indirectly, bitch. You know you a bad bitch when you two bitches can sit there and somebody else is speaking, arguing for you. Two, both, both sides. Queens. That's queen shit. Now, if only y'all could use y'all motherfucking... Ooh, powers for good. I'm sorry, y'all, because I know I got to screaming. I know I got to screaming. My bad. Raniana, go away. Go back down in there. So I say that to say this. We sitting at that table, and Simone says what she says. Neither one of these niggas got nothing to say. Mariah looking as stupid as she always be looking bitch and quads in there bitch i can't do it and y'all are in this moment not even understanding where your friend is coming from that's fucked up it's fucked up that y'all can't even get it together i feel like we i'm this is just a theory i feel like we begging quad to get it together because quad you about to be out the fucking door in a minute do you not understand that mariah's motherfucking executive producer do you not understand that if we keep hearing this bullshit about this motherfucking sister circle bullshit that you doing that don't have shit to do with bravo bitch that ain't bringing no money to bravo that way or the other bitch like do you understand i know you try to put yourself on before you go honey but you are taking a lot of l's with you honey you could at least bought yourself five more years Girl, I think your contract is probably five more years. And I don't think you got it in you quiet. That's just me, though. Whatever. Uh, with that being said, they ain't got shit for Simone. Simone ain't got shit for them. I don't give a fuck if y'all bitches ever talk again. I just don't want to be in a situation with y'all bitches where it's this fucking miserable. Fix it. <laughs> She gets up and leave. 
four bitches go with her. Dr. Uh, Heavenly can't figure out the life of her why bitches that don't need to go to the bathroom is always walking to the bathroom. And the shade on Bravo's part was pr production always showing Mariah. But I guess it is always her that got to sneak off to the bathroom. I don't know if that got anything to do with the cake or coke if you let uh, <clears throat> Toya tell it. But anyway, move a little along. Um, so now it is the four ladies. It's Jackie and Heavenly, Mariah and Toya. Toya gets on Heavenly's ass first. Because you said you believed her. And you did say that. This is dry as fuck. She did say that she... I believe her. You said that shit loud as fuck. So. You get up. And want to walk away. I ain't got nothing to do with it, Heavenly. I ain't got nothing to do with this. No, y'all. I ain't got nothing to do with this. Leave me out of it. I ain't got nothing to do. But when your bitch was sitting in the fucking van trying to humiliate my friend, you yelled out <clears throat> like the pastor's daughter that you believed her. And I'm even more mad if I'm Toya because I got a receipt for your ass. But whatever, bitch. I digress. Let's move the fuck on. Jackie refused to fucking see the receipts. Refused. After you had the audacity to sit up there on open and honest and, and say, do you think Quad was wrong for uh, um, <clears throat> talking about Mariah's drug abuse or drug use? You said it as if it was true. And you didn't even have the decency to ask the vice versa question. Had Mariah, was Mariah okay to fucking put out Quad's business that she cheated with her sister-in-law. Which she was, by the way, bitch. And at the end of the day, we got proof that Mariah ain't did no wrong. But we still, the jury is still fucking out on you, Quad. Okay? The jury is still out on you. And I think you're mad. I think you're mad, bitch. I really do. And I don't mean to call you a bitch in a mad, nasty way like it ain't no black girl magic. But in this moment, you are being a bitch. You are a fucking bitch. And I feel like the energy you're serving is giving us all that we need to know what the fuck your true intentions are. You never not once said... Well, let me tell you what you did say. You said... She lied on me. Every time you wanted to vindicate yourself, she said lies about me. I say one thing about her and it's this, that, and the third. I know what I saw. All these things. Girl, and somebody said Kwai should be fired or demoted, and I agree. I feel like you should be demoted. I feel like you're no longer married to medicine. I'm tired of this thing that you're doing with um, all of the girls, not just Mariah. You gonna piss uh toya and simone off next week girl gone i don't feel like mariah had enough time she was in the middle of lusting in love she was lusting in that in love moment of everybody getting along so when we was at the church of course she said she wanted to make amends she wanted to make it right with jackie but at the end of the day when you get home and you thinking about shit all this shit and this bitch still don't want when Quad got up and they kept playing, every time Quad talked, they panned to Mariah. And every time Mariah talked, they panned to Quad. And when Quad was in that church and she totally paid that situation with Mariah Dust, I said, how can you sit here naked in the church, naked, and you cannot even fucking swallow your pride enough to tell this woman, you, you and I need to have a talk. Or maybe they have had a talk. We just don't fucking know. I'm stop screaming. This video already too motherfucking long. We gonna see what's happening next week. Uh, uh, bye, y'all. Miss Jenkins, Brianna, signing out.